It's been a stressful morning, day two of Japan. We are going to Kino's place right now. Um, we have our Daikoku meet that they're hosting for us today, which is super exciting. Um, but the biggest thing about Tokyo is, well, not even Tokyo, Japan, everyone travels by public transportation. So we're at the train station right now. We gotta, um, we gotta go like 40 minutes to Kino's um, city. And then from there, we're gonna mob out in the STI. Today is Kino's STI day. So we're gonna talk a lot about Kino's car, uh, what he's done to it, if all of my STI WRX guys back home, you guys will be able to see and learn from um, you know Kino's thing. He also has a Gretti full titanium true dual exhaust that he custom made, which is sick, but let's head over to, to Kino right now. Sheesh, our chariot awaits Kino. How you doing? Good morning. Good job. You're Shirakawa. Awesome. Yes. Thank you. Yeah. Nice. Dance Society making it to Japan. I got one for Kino. That's your brand? Yeah, that's oh, mine. Sick. I just, I forgot the sticker, so I'm going to mail you the sticker so you can put the Dance Society part right here. All right. But yeah, I make these. That's my brand. So awesome. you can just hang it anywhere. I got one for your friend too, so we'll be able to give him one. Awesome. <laughs> make it open vertically. So that, so oh, because, a, wait, is this a molded wide body? Dude, sick. Look at this. <laughs> okay, this is what Kino was talking about. Vertical gas cap. This is ingenious. Today is Daikoku day, but we're going to talk a lot about Kino's STI. So once we get um, to Daikoku and we meet up with everyone else, we'll be able to really break down this car. And just really quickly before we, I show you guys more about the car, I want to show you. You guys know I'm a dual exhaust kind of guy. This is his full titanium Gretti exhaust that he made. We'll show you a little bit more, but that looks so sick. And you almost never see dual exhaust on STIs, at least not in the States. You see a lot of single exits, but this is really, really cool to see. So we just showed up to Daikoku. Uh, we're actually hosting the, the little car meet today. And it's crazy because yesterday when we came to Daikoku to today, it's completely different. Today is like Nissan overload. You literally have a GTR right here. You have a 32 right there. We got the 34 over there. You got more GTRs down there. You have some S13s, which we're gonna talk about right now because that S13, um, S15 has a 326. It looks super hot, boy. I wanna definitely go check that out, but it's crazy from one day to another the amount of car and variety you get here at Daikoku. Uh, we're gonna start with Kino and his really sick STI build. I've met Kino through Instagram probably like three years ago. Kino, what was it, three years now that I met you? Four years? Four, four. four years ago, yeah. I met Kino through STI, <laughs> and it's a dream to finally see his STI in person. This car is really cool, really unique, and we're going to let Kino break it down. In the front, I got the Baltex uh, front bumper, and it's customized so that the license plate doesn't stay here. I had to make a mount on the side so that it looks flush flush up yeah. front and that's cool too because then you don't get the two holes that you normally get exactly. when you're drilling that in i hate that in the states well, at least in california they force you to drill into your front bumper so that looks way cleaner and it's way prettier and i took the uh the badge off of the subaru in the center so usually there's one right here i thought it was super a glitter from Eurus. it's custom made so that it fits the Baltic size. I see that there's carbon fiber in here. Was this hood all carbon fiber? Yes, it's it's carbon fiber hood from Barris. Very so sick. the head and the, this is actually white body. And I was gonna say, is this molded on or is, oh, is no, no. this is this, this how is, it comes? Yeah, this is how it comes. Rookie STI person <laughs> here don't know much about STIs, but it's really cool because I didn't know if this was molded or not. So I like the way that looks like it's kind of molded, but it's not, and it gives you the wide body. So that's super sick. Side skirt is from Baltex uh, with a Eurus uh, splitter at the bottom. This is a molded white body uh, from M Sports. M Sports molded yeah, wide so body. So even the door, it's molded, so it's white. Yeah, I was gonna say, if it wasn't molded, you would have like the over fender basically exactly. to the fen to the door. The rear, I got the uh, Baltex Swan Neck wing and the diffuser. This is from M Sports. Uh, so th this is also M Sport, the rear bumper exhaust. I got two trust full titanium exhaust welded together in one piece. So I think I think this is the first dual titanium exhaust in Japan. 
Sheesh. That's so sick. And I like the way they're like, um, like murdered out. Yeah, they got like seven different patterns. So there's a remote control inside and you could uh, change the settings. I'll, I'll show you guys later. But yeah, uh, so this is by Car Shop Glow. Um, they, their website actually has a uh, English translation. So if you guys are interested, go Sick. check it out. He knows link to his Instagram and YouTube channel. So you guys could definitely check out his car. Subscribe. <laughs> I did want to talk classics. I know in the States, EJs blow up left and right. Kino right. has never had any problems any with his this, engine. This car is like 20 years old. Uh, there's, I've never seen anyone owning an EJ uh, in Japan with a blown engine. So I actually made a video on it. So the difference between EJ 20s and 25s. So people want EJ 25s because the cylinder size is bigger, but it's actually uh, better to own an EJ 20 and get more power out of it because of the cylinder wall. So uh, the engine size itself is exactly the same, but to, in order for the US version to get EJ, uh, the 2500 cc, they just made the cylinder wall super thin. That's why it breaks all the time. It can't contain that heat, but Kino has that video on his link. Definitely go check out his link. Go check out his uh, cars because you guys will get a lot of knowledge, especially for my STI owners. This way your engines don't blow up and your STI can actually look like this instead of having to spend money on rebuilding and swapping out your engine exactly. every other <laughs> month. Damn, he's leaving. I wanted to show you guys this S15, but look how sick this is. Nice, with the 326 wing in the back, huge exhaust. And it's purple. You guys know my favorite color is purple. This car is so sick. I need to get one more clip of it leaving since we aren't going to be able to enjoy this car. Damn. Now that you stop right here real fast, look how sick this is. Rocket Bunny Z33. Awesome fucking blast pipes. This thing's so sick on the Workmeisters. The fitment is a little eh. You guys know, I told you guys in the previous vlog, when it comes to rocket bike body kits, I feel like the fitment is what you have to work on the hardest. I know we get to see a lot of these out in the States, but this is just super cool to just see one out in Japan. GTR, I'm, I'm not gonna cap. I don't know what exact body kit this is. And I've never seen one of these body kits out in the States. But this is like super hot boy. Look at this beautiful S13 right here with the Sylvia front end. Sick. Initial D status as fuck. With the Type X tail lights back there. He's got a little resonator on the muffler to stay quiet. But this is definitely sick. I wanted to show this really fast. I was talking to you guys about this. You have a random Ferrari just here at Daikoku. And behind Kino's STI, you actually have another Ferrari that's about to take off. Who would have thought this? You just uh, randomly at Daikoku, you get a Ferrari next to the FC. Super sick to see this, honestly. This is actually Kino's friend right here, Yuta. Look at him. Hi, Yuta. How you doing? <laughs> Look how sick his STI is. Ari's happy. I really want one. <laughs> Ari's been wanting a chaser so bad, and one just pulled in. Jeez, a chaser. Look how sick that is. Hi! Hi. <laughs> yeah. I love this we car. love your car! Oh God, thank you. <laughs> yeah. It's my car. It's your job. It's her. She wants to make sure I, we love your car. Thank you! <laughs> I love it. She's got Ari's dream car chaser right here. Look at this. I'll tell her to trade right now. <laughs> That's so sick, huh? Arigato! <laughs> Sheesh! Ricaro seats? Dude! That might be my future wife right there. I don't know. <laughs> oh my God, this is so sick. Look at the wheels. Man, you don't really see a lot of crazy. You don't, first of all, you don't see any Lotuses out in the States, not at least not around me. And then you see this right here. Look how beautiful this is with the diffuser down here. That's carbon fiber, the exhaust coming out the back end, heat wrap. This is so clean. Look at the wing, the yeah, way it comes out. Carbon fiber up top. Look at that. Dude. Dude, look at this. Roll cage all the way down. Full carbon fiber interior with the Lotus bucket seats. 
Car oh, carbon fiber door panels. This thing is so unique and perfectly built. The roll cage is bolted down to the chassis right here. And like I said, look at the interior all the way down. This is definitely a crazy build. This is officially my favorite area here at Daikoku. You got the old school Datsun, the Skyline. Dude, that's what I was saying, the old school Skyline right here next to the Datsun. Another Datsun's pulling up right now. Damn, son. Stancy boy out here. That's pretty sick for sure. Look at the big wing. Sheesh. My man just opened up his hood. Got ITVs in there. Look how beautiful that is. And it's chromed as well. That's yeah. super sick. He actually knew what he was doing. He wanted to let us open. He wanted to open up and stunt on us. And I'm okay with him. I'm perfectly okay with him stunting on us real fast. Let's see what kind of seats he has. But if I had to guess, I would say Recaro's. <laughs> the Recaro's. I told you, everyone out here, I feel like it's a Recaro nation for sure. Recaro nation for sure. Look at the quick release. He's got the butterfly release. That's what I have in the Z as well, except mine isn't currently working, but it will be. But yes, I feel like. In America, we love Brids. In Japan, they love Recaro's. Recaro's the way to go. And those actually look really comfortable. This is how you turn kids into car enthusiasts. He's letting him rev his car. That's so sick. Pump and bangs. I know. Yeah. On an NVIDIA exhaust. That's gangster. Look at Kino. <laughs> That's so sick. This is hot boy right here. Yo. Look how sick this is. Damn, son. This is hot boy. Showstopper as well. Look at this. He literally just took the whole show over right now. He's geeking out about the GT4. <clears throat> I'm geeking out about this stance out Supra right here. Look how sick this is on the Workmeisters. But I think the nicest thing is the white Recaros. That looks so hot boy in there. Next to the Supra is you have this beautiful red S15 on the TEs. I don't know if this one... You, I don't know if this is bagged as well. It might be, to be honest. Yeah, I think it's bagged. I don't think so. You don't think it's bagged? I don't think so. The fitment on this is pretty nice. Honestly, I don't... Dude, you have tire boogers on this, so I don't think so. I don't know. If, is this like how S15s come, body style? Or is this like a molded on kit? No, it's body style. It's like that. This thing looks sick, I, yeah, to be honest. Has like, a, like a body kit on it. This wide body is super sick stands boy as fuck i don't i don't really know if this is like a thing out here in japan but i've seen a lot of like dual exhaust but the the tips are like so tiny out here so i don't know if that's a thing or not but this s15 is so sick you see look at this is what i was just talking about another dual with the small tips on the te's with the ganaders like ari just said super sick he's gonna be nice enough and pop the engine bay for us Damn! <laughs> Look what you got in right here, SR20, same classic with it. Alright, so last time I uh, vlogged about this, so I, I know like some stuff. I don't know everything, Yeah. but what he did was he had to like redo all the fender, the, the frames, so that it, it could go lower, right? Yeah. And he has negative 10 camber. The, the way he did it was he actually like modified this part. So that it goes further so the frame is cut ah uh, so i get was so he notched the camber basically to be able to have more camber on his camber plates camber arms that's pretty crazy and what kino's talking about he basically did the wheel wells right here as you can see yeah. he uh he has um what do you call him ah uh, can't think of the word right now but anyways he has the wheel well done so this allows you to be basically more cambered in and the wheel sits further in into the engine bay and doesn't hit everything in there. Look, that's literally me, bro. That 
That's me. <laughs> man I just love that guy. Full love sends him. it. He's like, fuck it. I don't even give a shit. I already know that I'm gonna scrape full sendies. The cream of the crop just showed up. It's like this is literally how everyone would act if a GTR or whatever in America pulls up. An F40 just pulled up to Daikoku. And what's crazy is this is our meet today. So basically an F40 just popped up to our meet today, which is super sick. Look how sick this car is. I think it's safe to say that everyone here is appreciating the F40 for show. Sure. Look at this. Everyone's rushing over to the car. Perfectly acceptable reaction to an F40 popping up. Because I think even in the States, we would all act pretty crazy about this. That is so beautiful. That's crazy. We're at the food court inside of Daikoku. Kino's about to show us how everything works out here because it's a bit interesting. So, okay, my turn. Press the little sticker. Uh, I'm using bills. If, if, if you're doing cash, you have to oh, put the cash, cash first, first and then. then Sick. So here is my food ticket. Nice. Thank you. Thank you. We got a little, a little ticket for it. Thank you. Arigato. Oh. I already knew this man was gonna act up. We yeah. fuck with the Maserati owners. 